there have been some good examples. We've been teaching this, this type of workshop for uh, a number of years now, and a number of the participants come to the workshop and learn <coughs> some of the tools and techniques, and what they do is they take it back to their countries. And examples of those are how folks begin to do audits and reviews and maybe even write new legislation or put in place whistleblower hotlines. So there are a variety of techniques that people have taken back to their countries and applied and applied in the maintenance and construction areas of their of their road networks. I think that uh, what these courses are really good at is learning a lot of information in a very short period of time and it really focuses on practical things. I mean I work in the road sector every day of my life and what I do is uh, when I teach these courses and participate in them, <coughs> we are talking about real life, day-to-day -day things. And uh, we share the information and it's not theoretical. <coughs> and that's probably the most useful aspect of these types of workshops. I, re I really believe in what I do. Uh, my job is as manager of financial integrity. I want to make sure that as government employees, we carry out our duty to the taxpayers, to the public. And what we do is we try to deliver good service, we try to build trust in government, and by meeting with other people, I teach them about what we have learned over the years, and I also hear from them about their experiences, and, and I learn as much as they do, probably. So we share a lot of experiences, and uh, each of the participants in the groups <coughs> hears from eight or nine different countries and takes back a, really a wealth of knowledge. And I think that's the best part. That's the most rewarding part. There was a recent report written by the World Bank. It was, was released last year. And if I remember the headline uh, correctly, it said something along the lines that road agencies, road projects around the world remain plagued remain plagued by fraud and corruption and collusion. So it's a widespread problem. It happens in the United States and it happens in countries around the world. And what we do is we try to identify what are the most common types of fraud and corruption. And probably more importantly, what we do is we teach some tools and techniques to help people reduce and minimize the impact of fraud and corruption. So that they can take those tools back to their own countries and apply them and hopefully Instead of losing money through fraud and corruption, they can apply that money to better maintenance and more road construction and putting people back to work. Yeah, I think the IRF is a really great organization. I mean, we as Federal Highway are members of it, uh, a number of road agencies around the world, obviously. And I think the IRF does a great job of, of facilitating. What it does is it brings people together focuses on important topics such as safety, performance-based contracting, uh, minimizing fraud and corruption, whatever is of importance to the road sector. It brings people together, brings in speakers and experts, talk about these issues, share knowledge and information, and people walk away thinking, you know, it was time well invested and I, I really learned a lot in the short time that I was in those workshops and in those courses. So it's been a great experience for me and and I believe for the other participants as well.